Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to focus on the difference between homozygous and heterozygous, which are some terms you need to know in order to complete uh, Punnett squares. Homozygous is a trait made up of two of the same alleles. And remember, homo meaning the same. And then heterozygous is a trait made up of two different alleles. Okay? So if I were to write these and use the letter T, a homozygous could be written big T, big T, or little t, little t. And heterozygous would be written big T, little t. So I've got a couple worksheets, and I'll leave a link to these. Uh, you can find these on ScienceSpot, and I think they're really good practice for helping you recognize the difference between homozygous and heterozygous. And in this first one, all you do is recognize the heterozygous and homozygous. So I'm going to go through several of them. Big T, big T, they're the same, so I'm going to write HO for homozygous. Big B, little b, heterozygous. Two, le two capital letters that are the same, homozygous. Two letters that are different, heterozygous. Okay, and hopefully you can get the hang from here. I'll do one more. How about this one right here? Capital F, capital F. Yes, you're right. Homozygous. Okay. Next, let's move down and apply a little bit more. It says a yellow body is dominant over blue. So if I look at this, it is homozygous, and it will tell me, since it has a capital letter, it will be yellow. This is heterozygous, and it also will be yellow because it has a capital letter. Anytime you have heterozygous, it's always going to be the dominant trait. And then this is going to be blue. Okay? So now, uh, let's go ahead and look at another sheet. It's a little bit more advanced, and I hope we can see this. But what this is, is this tells us the dominant trait and the letter to use, and this is the recessive and the letter to use. And then what we do is we look at the... I'm going to focus in a little bit more. Okay. And then what we do is we look at the genotype and tell us what the phenotype should be. Remember, the phenotype is the physical expression. Okay. So we have a homozygous genotype, big L, big L. And we know that it's going to be dominant. So for nose style, it's going to be a long nose. For this next one, that is heterozygous, capital letter, lowercase letter. But it's still going to be the dominant trait because of the capital R. So the eye shape is going to be round. Okay. This one, it is also this one is homozygous, but it's recessive homozygous. So the body color is going to be blue because blue is recessive. Okay, and I'll do one more. This is again, it's homozygous because it's little l, little l, and it's going to be a stubby nose because stubby is recessive. Okay. Now let's move down and do the opposite now. Okay, hopefully that will focus. Okay. Um, okay, so now what we do is we're going to write the genotype, and we know what the phenotype is, and we're going to have to either write it homozygous or heterozygous. Yellow body. Well, yellow is dominant, so it can be written capital Y, capital Y, which is homozygous, or capital Y lowercase. Stubby nose. Stubby nose is recessive, so there's only one way to write it, and that is homozygous to, capital, to lowercase l's. Round pants. Round pants are also recessive, so we need to write a homozygous recessive genotype. And let's go ahead and do one more. Oval eyes. Oval are also recessive, so that would be little r, little r. And let's do one more that's dominant. Square pants is dominant, so it can be written big S, little s, which is heterozygous, or big S, big S, which is a um, homozygous for the dominant trait. And finally, the last thing. Let's go determine the genotypes. Heterozygous, round eyes. Round eyes is recessive. Excuse me. Um, Determine the genotype using the information in the chart. We have a heterozygous round eyes. Okay, round eyes are dominant, 
So that will be written big R, little r. And I'll do one more. Homozygous for the long nose. Long nose is dominant. It needs to be homozygous, so it will be written big L, big L. Okay, I hope that helps in you determining the difference between homozygous and heterozygous. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video or science video every day.